Hello and welcome to another update video about ADA. So yeah, the ADA messiness continues here. Um, we, we, it still doesn't give us much more clarity. I mean, ADA really maxed out what it can do here to the downside in this possible A, B, C structure. Actually, I would like to, um, I need to change it. It is actually, to be formally correct, it needs to be a W, X, Y structure. It could have been an, um, an ABC until yesterday, but with its latest dip down, it needs to be a WXY. Doesn't really make a difference at all. But, um, you know, it, it sort of did what it needs to do in a WXY. In the bullish interpretation, it could now really move up from here. Only yesterday I made that video and said, this is deep in support. So of course you could see a counter reaction here. I personally wouldn't trade it, but you, you, you basically have a decent reward to risk ratio here. Um, it might not work out because those long ret or strong retracements are very unreliable, but you can set a stop loss very tight. Um, and then we did rally today indeed. And in the bullish interpretation, we could consider this to be a wave three now, a wave one up, a leading diagonal, a wave two to the downside, and then possibly the wave three to the upside next. However, however, um, this is extremely, extremely choppy. It's not a very, I'm not confident in this count. Target for the third wave here would be at least 35 cents. Um, and if we zoom in, in the bullish interpretation, you know, this could be a wave one, this could be a wave two, and we could now push higher, yeah, within this third wave. Um, if this is a wave two, you would expect some kind of a three wave retracement. To be honest, it could be finished, A, B, C but um, there's no indication it has bottomed yet. And uh, we've come down to the 50% retracement. This could come down as much as um, 30.3 cents to still be considered a wave two. And then we could move up in a small third wave. I can also give you a target for this small third wave. Let's say we come down to 30.3 cents, then um, the target would be 33.5 cents for this wave three would take us exactly, whoops, would, would take us exactly to the top of this um, channel in which we are. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised to get to that channel, but is this really a substantial breakout, sustainable breakout or not? And that's the question. We can really only um, verify that. I think if we see those five waves up here as complete, then a three wave structure down, and then if this is now finally a proper impulse, then yeah, you know, then I would put more emphasis on a bullish count here. But at the moment, we haven't really seen a proper impulse. We've seen a leading diagonal at best in a possible bullish count. We've retraced more than it would be ideal in this wave too. And okay, this could now be a small first impulse, but it's not confirmed yet because while it's currently hold, holding support, this is the small first impulse after this um, three wave correction. So, I mean, it could be bullish, right? But it is just not reliable yet. And I wanna see more evidence before confirming uh, that the bottom is in place here. Um, understand that the reward is at the moment quite interesting compared to the risk, but um, the entire count isn't high confidence. And I'm still, as long as I don't see more evidence that a bottom could have been made here, I'm gonna focus on the more reliable charts like Ethereum, you know, maybe Chili's even, uh, we've got other ones like even um, Optimism, you know, here this one isn't moving at all really and it's just sort of choppy sideways movement. I'm still leaning towards the yellow count here that would be by primary a wave one to the downside. This was a wave two retracement. Then we move, we're currently moving down in wave three. Target here would be 27 cents. There should be a wave four and a wave five. And within this wave three, obviously we've got sub waves as well. So this could be a wave one of three. We might now be coming up in wave two of three and would come down. Yeah. Um, here we can see now the next wave up should give us certainty here because if this really is a wave two to the upside within a wave three to the downside, this could be an ABC pattern and we should only make three waves to the upside. We should not go above 32.8 cents. If we get above 32.8 cents, that swing high, then yeah. Now we can lean a little bit more um, to, to a bullish count. But the situation continues to be that I'm skeptical of any bullish count until I at least see a move above 32.8 cents. Even then it could be a larger bearish count. And then it also, you know, this larger bullish pattern comes into place where I would like to see five waves to the upside, three waves down, 
The problem is that this move to the upside was not impulsive, it was only a leading diagonal. How many leading diagonals have we seen since June, for example? How many did work out? Not many worked out, so I'm extremely skeptical. Um, wouldn't trust this at all. Yes, again, here short-term upside possible if anybody wants to trade it, but it's not high confidence. So um, there are better trade setups out there, in my opinion. This is also not very volatile at the moment, and volatility is where you earn money at the moment. I think Bitcoin, Ethereum do some significant movements the, at the moment, but mm, yeah, ADA not really. So we need to wait for more volatile times, need to be a bit more patient. Unfortunately, it is, it is what it is. And we can only trade what's in front of us really. And at the moment there isn't really much in front of us here. Um, this in my opinion is still sliding down and I'll keep a close eye on this for you. Um, and I'm, I'm watching if things um, are turning impulsively to the upside and if they do, I will make you aware and then we can look for the next entry point. But at the moment, um, nothing convincing yet, unfortunately, yeah? So hopefully you liked the update about ADA. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, then please check out the channel membership. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.